Hi everyone! Today's topic is the top things older people realize aren't worth their time and energy. Number one, let's just dive into it. Number one is perfection. Maybe when we're in our 20s and 30s, we're striving to be perfect, whether it be how we look, our perfect, uh, our perfect bank account, our perfect savings. Perfection is um, worth is never worth anybody's time and energy because it is completely unattainable. So when you get older, um, the majority of people, I'm not saying all because everybody's journey is different, but the majority of older people, they're saying that this is not worth their time and energy um, because perfection is unattainable in their eyes, okay? And so also, they can, let's talk about past battles and disappointments. I know as we get older, it's just not worth our time and energy to stress over past battles, disappointments, whatever happened like that in the past. We try to also forgive, lead more, um, lead more happier lives. And so that is very important for um, us older ones. I know with me, a lot of people are like, how can you let go of this? They did you so wrong here. They, you know, I'm sure you have that done to you too. Like somebody's done you super wrong. Instead of just letting it eat at you and, and take your joy away. And um, as we get older, we're like, nope, we're not going to allow this no more. They've taken enough. This battle has been gone long enough. Um, we are definitely going to end it, right? And so even if you don't... Um, make peace with the other person but you can have your own inner peace you don't have to go and talk to that other person or um have a certain closure or whatever if you just want to make it up in your mind yes this is what you're going to do or if you want to write it down in a journal you can do that too and so that way you can just release the past battles and disappointments and that is number two of what older people uh, think that is not worth their time and energy now, <clears throat> oh, one of the, um, one of the, in the, my research, one of the quotes or whatever it says, it says, with maturity comes choosing battles wisely, and if it's going to harm a person's peace, then it's not worth it. So, food for thought, food for thought. People, as we get older, we tend not to, um, care about our bodies as much or maybe um, what society thinks what's acceptable what's not acceptable um, I know for me um, I don't know I just know it's hard to to actually exercise and to do stuff to worry about my body but um, I didn't say become a slob or anything but just just knowing that accepting your body how it is accepting how you are um it's your body is the best it's going to be right and every day you have to think this is the youngest my body's going to be right here right now because tomorrow is going to be older right it's going to be different it's going to when you get older it um it doesn't become more beautiful if you will right and so um it doesn't become younger or how about that it doesn't become younger now everybody's body is different too so um but the older generation, they just don't want to worry about it. They become less influenced by society standards as they realize that um, it won't make them happy, right? Because happiness also comes from inside as well. So, and they are tired. Ooh, this is from my research, okay? I'm not accepting themselves. And so they want to accept themselves. They want to accept their quirks and this and that. But, um... To add to this, it didn't say let yourself go. It's not saying um, to to have things or behaviors that are unhealthy behaviors. I always feel no matter what your age is, it's always good to address those unhealthy behaviors because our goal is to be healthy and happy. Um, but being able to accept yourself with all the quirks that you come with will lead you to greater happiness. Um, this may also mean letting go of ne the need to fit in. Um, realizing that um, it, maybe we were popular in high school, but we don't need to be popular now, right? Um, it's important to embrace your individuality because that is what makes you you. So that is what the older people, and which is crazy I'm thinking about this because... I'm 47, so I'm already up there when it comes to being older. <laughs> um, materialism. 
my dad was a great example of this um, materialism because he's like, uh, I don't care. I was like, how do you not care? And yeah, he just like, nope, because it, um, he just didn't care. As long as he knew like he had like the funds to the monies to, to get what he needed, like his actual needs, um, his wants wasn't, there wasn't a lot of wants because his main priority was his needs. And, um, realizing, I think also when we get older, we realize that, um, having materialistic things doesn't make you happy. Um, don't get me wrong, vacations and this and that. Yes. Ooh, I love those. But I'm just saying, as far as being materialistic, got to have everything. Everything has to be new. It has to be the most greatest, latest, whatever. Um, that doesn't bring you happiness. And the older people, they're like, yeah, they are just done with that. They feel that it is a waste of time because there's other things to um, focus on, like your experiences and uh, the relationships that you guys, uh, that we do have. Um and simplifying your life makes greater happiness. So, and so focusing on truly what matters um, is what's important to the older generation. So career success. I know when it feels like when, right? Like <laughs> once we hit high school, it's, it talks about nothing but career, 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 career. And um, having career success, I mean, we hit the gate running, trying to, um, get to the top notch of our game and this and that but i think the once you get older and then you realize it's like is there um ends means to the madness like um is it really worth your time and energy um did your job consume you um is your job keeping you from having um happy relationships is your job depressing you know um unneeded or unwarranted um stressors on you so the older generation they're like nah we're i think we're good we we don't need to have all this career success um it's your career success does not um tell you the worth like your own like doesn't ma measure your worth as a person and that's what the older generation is saying so that's another that's something that they don't um care about as much it says when you get older you want to have more of work-life balance especially when your retirement is edging closer and closer so you want to have work-life balance you may also start to find a fulfillment outside of work as this brings you more personal satisfaction. So there you go, right there from the research. Um, what I also learned about this, and I think it's, this starts, I don't know, um, maybe for me in my 30s, I, it really started. And I know that's not old, but this is when it started for me. Um, things um, beyond your control. Um, stop caring about things that are beyond your control, right? Um, just worry about things that you do have control of. Why have that unnecessary stress of that, right? And so whether it be you don't have control over the economy, you don't have control over um, your your loved ones, you don't have control over them, you don't have control over your best friend, you don't have control, I mean, you barely have control over your pets, right? Like. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me anyways, um, so the best thing you can do is um, concentrate on areas that you do have control in and that those areas and have those areas make the difference in life for you. You want to uh, embrace the um, practical action and you want to embrace the peace. So the, I'm just saying that's what the older generation and I feel like all the topics that we've hit are great things. So let's go over them one more time is perfection past battles and disappointment that's two body worries not accepting yourself and materialism career success and things beyond your control all right everyone um thank you so much if you have any comments or um do you can you think of any things have you learned as you got older leave them in the comments and tell me what um you don't think is important anymore. So, all right, everyone, I will see you on the next video.